down the Garrett through kind of his demeanor and kind of what allowed that play to be successful? Um, he just trusted us. We both was getting bracketed. We was getting bracketed. He just trusted Aaron Anderson to make that touchdown. So that's big for Aaron because I know the work that he's put in on and off the field. He's becoming a better young man every single day. Um, and I, I salute uh, Aaron because he does it. He's starting to do it the right way every single time. Um, a lot of people doubted Aaron, but like we always knew Aaron was going to be that different. He was going to be what we needed to spark us up. So um, I told him early on in the game, uh, the ball wasn't coming this way. I told him, bro, you're you, you going to win us this game, bro. And uh, just stay locked in because um, I felt like he was starting to get away from it because last year that's how it was because when the ball wasn't coming your way, it's just like when it's going to come, when it's going to come. But I told Aaron, stay locked in because the ball is going to come your way and when it comes your way, do something with it. So I salute Aaron. Can you repeat what your mindset was going into that last play? All I was worried about is the ball. That's, that's the only thing I was worried about because I know I could have caught a lot more, but the only thing I was worried about because I knew it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup is win that one-on-one -on -one and catch that ball. That's the only thing that was on my mind. Right, I see you guys are down three receivers, Kyle Parker, Chris Hill, and CJ Daniels. With that, do you feel any pressure to take on those little offensive being the number one receiver? No, nah, it's not no pressure because this is what we come to LSU for, to play wide receiver, wide receiver type shit. Like, we, we, we love this. This is what we came here for, games like this. So you got to bring your best when your best is needed every single day. So it's never no pressure. Pressure is a privilege. I can promise you that. So um, if we don't look at that as a letdown or anything because we got guys in that room, tight end room, that's going to step up and be ready. And when those guys come back, it's going to be on. I seen Joe Sloan talking to you in the pregame. Talk about what that conversation was like, and it seemed like he kind of was trying to motivate you a little bit. Oh, that's every single day, man. Uh, Coach Sloan gets on me. Um, he knows when I'm starting slow. He picks me up. It's time to go. So, um, Coach Sloan does a good job getting me going. Um, he really trusts me and the whole offense. He trusts us to go out there, and he just does what he does at a high level. And uh, much love for Coach Sloan. Why was the offense, you think, having some struggles in the passing in particular early on in this game? Um, I just feel like we just had to settle down. I think that's all it was. Um, you know, being at Tiger Stadium with that kind of atmosphere, it's just, it's just so real, man. So once we settled down, started to gather up with each other, having each other's back, it was easy. We got time for two more. Yeah. Yeah. You right. when, you, when you when you cut into the route and the ball's coming, did, I mean, did you know that it was easy touchdown there? It was what, there. What, it was there? Yeah, it, I saw it. I saw it. Um, I ain't going to lie. I wanted it to be over to where the DB could think he could catch and I could go over it. But wherever I saw it, wherever, I was going to get it. So it didn't matter. Did you almost black out like after that catch? Like, what, what was your Do you remember? Even I didn't remember? even know what to do. I ain't going to lie. I didn't know what to do. I just stayed there. It was just. I just wanted to thank God because that, that was that was amazing, man. You hit that pose and everyone's flying in from from the stands. What what is the celebration like as the the field floods with man? It just and fans? felt surreal, man. It's just something I never forget in my life, man. That was just amazing, man. That's what you come to LSU for, man. For all those younger recruits, man, this is what you come to LSU for. Big games like this, you are gonna get an opportunity to play at the highest level, play against some great teams. Come on, man. It's, it's nothing better than this. For all my young receivers, wide receiver type shit. Uh, 